All right, so today I'm taking on One Die Pal Me by Angra. So this is Dillinger, Season 7 in the Windy City Warmongers. This is me going over my season of the Maritime Marinated Meat. So this is my Underworld team versus a rowdy Amazon team. Um, I won the kick and chose to receive. So he outguards me with three guard. He's got a fair bit of block, one tackle. Uh, two mighty blow, not with tackle though. So I'm not too scared of this team. I don't think they're going to break me. He took a wizard though, and that's the thing I'm afraid of. I have to play around it the whole game, you know, so it's not, not the easiest thing to play around. Okay. Is he done? Am I done setting up? Okay, so I've set up to not have to worry, or not take all these blocks, right? So I'm set up to take them. It should be him here, him here, and him there, if this is how I stay set up. Okay, so scratch that. It should be the reverse of that. Yay, Blizzard. So right away I get the ball. And I come back because I don't want him to wizard me. <laughs> so I got to screen off and keep him away from me. Now luckily he's at G3, so he can't get into me. But we'll see how this goes. Taking the blocks on the line after I set up the screen. I'm not sure I like this order because I forced myself to take a troll block there. I might have switched these two so that he could take the block from here and the troll could run around. That might be better. But I got the troll on three Zons, so maybe it's okay. It'd be better if the troll had tentacles or something, but my trolls don't survive on this team, so whatever. <coughs> Tackle... So I do take, this wasn't even a tackle hit, so I'm protecting my killer though. My team is so dependent on him to perform that I want to leave him back and not expose him. Not really a point to bring them back, the, the Amazons are so far back that I don't really need the goblins further. Get her. Stay. Yeah, so... Didn't need piling on. So that's good. It's just a blank lino, but it's still good to get a numbers advantage while you can as an order. But, but, here's somewhere where this movement is killing me, right? That's a guard piece. This is not good. Yeah, he's got to deal with the troll, but these guys aren't really going to be able to get much done because the troll's marked. So no assist. So if they put... This guard piece, one, two, three, four, five, six, in here. Then the troll's the only one here who can do anything. And trolls are stupid and unreliable, so I... This is too, too grouped up. This guy had movement seven, he should be back one more. This guy should have followed. Just not, I'm too close together. Yeah, see, now I'm in trouble. He's got plenty of guard. They can hit on the killer with Mighty Blow. Doesn't pay off, but it could have. 
So that, that's too grouped up. I really don't like taking the blocks. I don't like lining up to take the blocks. I regret it every time I do it. So this team rewards patient. My team rewards really patient play. Like just slowly and methodically working your way up. So right now I didn't. Uh, I'm sort of setting up to do that. Just making sure he can't get to the ball, can't wizard me. Horns to kind of break myself free, but not really. Now I'm still stuck. That was even worse. Okay, I get her, but it's she's got dodge. Follow. That's the free him up. Trying to keep her off of him so that he can take hits. I'm still really, really tied up in here. I don't like this. And I gotta keep from splitting my team now. So I move these guys up to keep him from splitting me. I need to keep him from getting in here. I don't know if I do. Let's see. The attacker has an oh. assist. Takes on the troll because it's not hard when you've got that much guard. Alright. So this area is still open through here. Alright. So this one can get in here, he's got to take him out, and then he can get in here. And then I'm in trouble, because then he's, he's kind of halved my team. So, don't like that I set up for these blocks. I'm starting to feel that these guy, this guy should have, like, two heads to get back out after he takes a block. Because there's a lot of times he'll take a block against two guys and get stuck on one of them. And I'm just not liking it. And he's gonna foul. <clears throat> My killer, probably. We'll see. I don't remember. Non tackle hit on the goblin. Which is fine because his tackle is here. Eh. Six. So. My killer is generally foul proof. Like, he gets stunned a lot, but he doesn't really get injured, so. I've been lucky there. Alright, now I gotta worry about a wizard. And I think I go for a chain push. Yeah. Push. Here. There. Pushing them out, trying to get myself free. And look at that. Now I got a little bit of a screen over here. I don't know that I can make it to it. But, one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, so I'm trying to screen off the sideline. I don't have sidestep on anybody, so that's a little bit risky. But, again, he put me in a bad, I put myself in a bad spot, and he's helped me to it. Alright, that was good. I am not going to get somebody to the troll, so I try the 50%. If it fails, that's fine. I'd like to see him come up over here somewhere. Mm, sure. Trying to stay off the absolute sideline, so sure. And does nothing. Temporarily kind of tied. Or blocks. Or for men, take his... Is he, did he get someone off? No, I'm ahead on that. So there's the, the trolls down, but this one's stunned. So, there's that. Uh, he's really bashy. Because he sounds, he's going to foul my killer again. Did I pile on there? Did I throw a block with that player? No. Okay, it's his turn. Stump. Stunt. This player's taken like 30 or 40 uh, fouls and it's been okay. Okay, so hold on. I'm trying to get around. I need to get somebody in scoring position just to keep from getting stuck by the bash. Uh, oops. I'd like to see one of these two goblins go wake up the troll. 
Because if he's standing there, then I've got a, at least a pillar of something. Um, I don't know that I really need to blitz with him to push my killer back here. Because they'll just knock the troll down again. So, continuing the screen off. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the goblin can only make it to here. So the goblin's got to get rid of the ball soon. He's, he's too slow. Probably... I put the goblin in one of these squares, hand it off to him, and I'm off to the races with my move up runner. So we'll, we'll see if I do that. That's what I'd like to see now. He's got extra arms, so it's, it's a two plus handoff. One and nines before the ball's safe. I don't know that I like that. I should have done this first, but it's fine. It works out. And there I am in a side cage. And I'm going to come up here and seal this off. I try for the troll. I don't really care. That happens a lot. Where does he go next? So I get another Zon. Doing good on that in that regard. Where does he go? Okay. I don't like that. So... In general, I don't like the way I've used those blitzes. I tend to put this, these guys, these storm vermin, in bad spots. Because now, again, guard here, guard here, and I'm just pinned. So, I don't know. I, I don't like where he ended up. And not helping once you take the hit. Um, go after the goblin. Rerolls. This is a tackle hit, so that's correct. Okay, so now he's going to get all super dug in here, and that's fine. Let's we'll see if I can extract myself. Yep, see again, puts a guard here, and you just put someone else right here. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. I guess if you only put it on him, then he can get a two die. Another foul is a three, he needed a five. Feels bad, man. So, but this guy has dodge and two heads. So while well, you've got a tackle, it's still one in six with the reroll to one in thirty-six to get out. So score. I'm not gonna risk the wizard there. So he had a wizard and it's got me pretty pinned in. So he made me go faster than I wanted to. I'd have liked to have stalled more, but it is what it is. You know, he made, he managed to put pressure on me. I got overly rowdy and got stuck, but got myself out because I've got a very well-developed team. So, well played on him. He's gotten himself four turns to score back. So the team's in a bit of a predicament and in that. They're so well developed that I have a goblin I need to protect. And that's rough. Because <laughs> who's less valuable than him? Um, this rat? <laughs> I'm thinking of cycling this rat at the end of the season. Um, Fend was wrong. It probably should have been block. I almost always take favor block, extra arms. I decided on pro to try and stay lean. Fend was wrong. It should have either been extra arms or Hail Mary pass. Hail Mary Pass would have been great for this season, but eh. You live, you learn. Move him. Don't leave him there. Put him over here somewhere. Or here. Okay. Don't really like that he's exposed, but okay. Now I'm covering him better. This is my, my sweeper. He needs to stay back because he can reach sideline to sideline and has horns. So against a strength three team, this guy's good. He'll he'll take them down pretty well. Uh, I don't know whether I want him to have strip or like tail. Uh, we'll see. He may never level, never level. I don't really you know he's very old. He's only got thirty six out of thirty one. So eh, this guy. 
Need to make him my stripper. My ball hawk. Yay. What do I do? Well, let's go over here then. <laughs> there we go. He's going to go there. And he... Alright. So I'm not elves. I don't really want to overcommit to this. But I want to readjust and try and put some pressure here with the troll. So, if I was playing woodies, I might have gone ham up in here. But I'm not. I'm not as, I'm not as mobile. I'm not as agile. Um, it's his turn. It wasn't a blitz or anything. I don't... Like, I know that was a two die and all, but you either make this a three die or protect the ball first. Like, I don't really agree with taking that just raw. Um, somebody blow hit, but even if you're going to make that same hit, make it a three die. And I guess that takes two care two people, so wait until you've covered the ball. If it's going to take two guys to cover it. Like, that's too rowdy. Okay, so all his guard is currently not on me, which I like. Sure hands doing the thing. Alright. Put some pressure on the ball. <clears throat> pressure on the ball. Um, I don't know why I did that. Because there's nobody... It's a GFI for him to reach. Maybe I meant to blitz with this guy. But this is... This is giving him a free block now if I don't get that girl off of him. Uh, so I don't I don't agree with that. Uh, leave that goblin. He's fine. So let's see where I go with him. And it's a... Yeah. Okay. Greed. Yeah, so that was not correct. Um, okay. No... Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. So let's see. This is going to be decisive. Do your stuff. Push the troll. So that's good. The troll's still here. It'll take him another turn to get it to midfield now. So the troll's kind of a pain in his butt. Maybe it should have been a... Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this might have been the blitz around the side. Yeah, so again. <clears throat> here's somewhere where this guy... And I'm, I'm sorry for this turn thing, but I want to do this before the other rat moves. If this guy was move seven. He goes one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven blitzes her off, and then he can get on the ball and get contact on the ball. Movement six, I'd have to use him, but he doesn't have tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can still do it, but he doesn't have horns either. So this guy being movement busted screws me here with this positioning. Now it's possible he'd have adjusted his positioning to that, but that's that's important. Because this guy's a very expensive piece, and he's not as capable as he should be. So, alright. Again, before this blitz, I would like to see these guys readjust more. Um, yeah, that goblin should have stayed down until after this, I think. Maybe should have gone after this one. Push the troll in. Yeah, see the troll stupids. So now I'm now I'm in bad spot. This guy's based. He's gonna take a hit. Troll's stupid. This piece has guard. This piece goes here. And you get two free hits. So that's bad. Uh, and now I have to cover this gap. 
Not sure why I put that goblin there. Maybe trying to turn her off to keep them from getting hit. Oh, maybe trying to keep people from getting in here, but that's... I don't really like that either. Um, yep. Again, he takes a two die first. Uh, we'll see how critical that is to where he wants to go, but that's that's rough. So, okay, so he's taking the blitz here. Got him. So now he can go around the outside if he wants. I think it's a KO. So don't give free blocks up. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Um, I'm not sure why he puts that piece there. Because um, he's just basing my killer with more stuff, which is not necessarily smart. Gets the killer. Okay. I mean, he's only got three turns, so he should be going a little faster. He's clearly going to foul. Or not. So, okay. What do I want to do here? <clears throat> um, I don't see a surf play. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Yeah, because he doesn't have jump up, I don't know that I have a surf play. Unless I'm pushing this goblin here, 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 and then blitzing there. So I'd have to get pieces all up in here. That's a lot to commit. I don't know that I even have the pieces in, in place for that. But he's got two turns. And as of yet, he's got three ladies who might be able to score without GFIs. Because it's snowing, it's blizzarding. So... These... No, actually, only these two front ones can score without GFIs, I think. Maybe, no, this one can too. Movement 6 and it's 12. So these three, if I just push them back, so blitz here, hit, hit, hit. There's one scoring threat, not a threat. Uh, if I push those three back, then he's going to have trouble without GFIs. And in the snow, it's a, a 2 out of 3 success on a GFI. It's a 3 plus. So put the troll in. I want to keep him from pivoting. And come here, puppy. Come here. Yep, lay down. Oh, not on the computer. Not on the computer. Lay down. There you go. Good boy. Okay. My doggy has become where that nope, lay down. Lay down. Is it where that I'm awake? It's come to keep me company in the wee morning hours. Alright. So, I like this spot. He's got three guys that can maybe score. What did I... Was that a turnover? Oh yeah, dodge failed. With... Killer tried to dodge out. Okay, well that's fine. Okay, he needs to get a move on if he's going to try and score this piece. Oh, he's going to surf the goblin. Good play. Why? I don't agree with that. You should surf that piece. Because now it's just going to get up. I mean, maybe he's going for SVP and he'll surf it next turn, but surf it. Don't do that. Just surf it. Okay, so he has a scoring threat for next turn. It's this one. I have a safety. Um, so the only move I'd like to see is me pin her against the sidelines and then try and screen off with the... So I gotta get this guy up in here to stop him from coming over, and then this guy comes and pins her against the sideline. That's the play. And you gotta get two pieces on her because he's got the wizard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm screening off. Trying to get pieces. Mm, well, that's okay, because then this guy's free. Got her. Put her there. Follow. Um, 
I'm not sure what that was about, but that's okay. So he still has a lightning bolt. And then I'm gonna hit this guard piece because I hate guard. Got her. Did I did I injure her? No. Just a stun. So I'm not giving him too good a lightning bolt. Should've just left him. You're not gonna foul a goblin. Should have just left him because it's turn sixteen or turn eight. There's no there's no point in this. So that was dumb. Should have left the goblin. And then the goblin also stops you from getting one assist on him. On the killer. Pushes all day. Gonna I don't I don't know, nobody can reach, so I don't I don't know. I understand going after these pieces, but I'm gonna take a I'm not gonna foul him. Going after the troll. Gets him. Didn't need the second die even. That's fine. I don't have a problem with going after the troll. Oof. You don't have tackle. I'm not sure what you're doing, but that's okay. <laughs> Half time. I get a piece back. I get my rat back. He's still down too. So. Going into the defensive half, I've got 11, and he's got 9. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's got, okay, so he had an extra, so he's, like, he's got 10. So, setting up to screen, just to keep you from scoring, protecting my pieces. A little bit offset, got a little bit of strength here. Trying to push him up the sidelines because he doesn't have a sidestep, and then I'll collapse on him. See if that works out for me. Yay, the snow goes away for him. So, it's a good deep kick. Probably with that kick. I want to put some pressure. I want to get around. Him. This guy just go. Just get up in there and make him play against your rat. I don't know if I do that. We'll see. Tackle was not set up to hit a goblin. He's probably going after this one with it. Probably why it's there. Oh, he's going after the... Nope, going after a goblin with tackle. Okay. And guard. This piece on the troll. This him. Oh no, it's on the, on the goblin. Mighty blow on the goblin. Rewarded? Rewarded. Five sixths. So, that's unfortunate because that goblin almost had two heads. And they become really good at two heads. Um, and the one that I lost last time was a zero. So, if I hadn't tripped that other goblin, that other goblin would have taken that hit and been killed. Don't dodge out for no reason. Don't do it. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm pushing hard at that. Um, I don't want to overcommit to ball pressure, but I'm sending my retriever and my and a wrestler at him. Let's go after her, get her, follow this up and pile on. Not too bad. See, I'm tying her out, but I'm exposing him. Okay, I do pile on. So now I've got a serious piece advantage. I have to protect him now. Or I can just leave him. Okay. That feels a little bit too bashy bashy. Um, she's got the ball, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So she can make it to midfield and try pass. This is a little bit overcommitted. But as long as he can't pin me there, I'm fine. I. This is ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... I guess it's fine, but this is too far back. Probably in here would have been fine. Okay, so he's going to go hard this way because I'm all up over here, but probably I can pivot out. You know, I've got a lot of movement. I've got a couple pieces back here, and I've still got some pressure on the ball, so he can't just go ham up in here. He's not an elf.
Okay, he's really committing to this troll. Gets him. But at what cost? That's that's a lot of commitment there. Okay, he's gonna go here and hand off. So that's fine. And he used catch, so good on you. Non tackle hit. Not gonna do much. Okay, and he dodges free to go screen off. So now I just need to extricate myself from here and get back around. The troll does troll things. And he's just going to stand here menacingly. These guys are going to come back. Yeah, this guy's going to come back in here somewhere. Give him a little room to squirt through. That's not a true screen, but that's fine. Putting more pressure on the sideline. He's going to come back in here. Yep. This is my blitz, because I want him free. And I want her gone. It's okay, buddy. Do I pile on? Mighty Blow's already been used, so no. He's going to step here. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. So I've got a real screen. Sort of. It's one layer, but... This guy should be a little further forward, I think, because he's out of reach of everything, but he's also out of reach of them. So I'm worried about them wizarding me and pinning me down. So he's fine. I'm doing a good job staying far enough apart that a fireball isn't attractive. Because, um, you know, with the wizard, if you get four or five guys, a fireball is not as bad as people say it is if there's four or five targets. You know, two targets, not worth it. Four targets, worth it. So, this guy can get a one die with the GFI. So, if he doesn't go around, that's the play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we'll see if I do that. But that's that's the play. Next turn is this guy blitzing around back to hit her. Unless she goes, oh, failed GFI. Rerolls. Okay, so, he burned a reroll, but he stopped it. So, that's not worth, worth the play anymore. I don't have any guard. It's not really worth it. So good on him for seeing that. Uh, protecting the ball. I'm going to screen up. I'm going to take this hit. Push her not to the troll. Because then, she'll, then he'll just push the troll down. Uh, I. That's okay. He's going to hit a guard beast because I hate guard. Got her. Don't follow. Yeah. I would have had to pile on if I followed. I don't really want to expose him that much. I don't like that. Um, he's too easily accessible here. I'd like to see him up in here somewhere. Um, maybe here. You know, not, not on the sideline. Not here. But just keeping pressure applied. This is a little bit too accessible to these pieces. I don't like it. Waffling around, this guy needs to come to... Yeah, see. Nope, he was fine where he was. Again, going after the goblin. The tackle. He's very consistent about that, and that's good. That That's... Mm, don't really like that. Now you're overly committed to that. Holding that goblin there. You already used your blitz, so you're going all man's base. That's not. I mean, you got guard, but this there's no guard down here. That piece probably one, two, three, four, five, six probably isn't coming around here. So you've given me a, a block here on a non-block piece. With my okay, that helps. He did pull guard down, so that's that's important. Okay. Um, but now you're pretty tight in here. This is where I have to start worrying about um, the wizard, because I'm going to get all grouped up here. Punch, pow, push, onto the ball. Okay, so now he has to address that, because I'm on the ball. Coming after her. Get her. Follow. Pile on. Nothing. So... I don't like the pylon there. I'm on the ball. Yeah, he gets easy blocks, but I'm on the ball. 
So where's Sunty guy gonna go? He's gonna go here. Joel's gonna take uh go up and seal the back end. I'm kind of okay with that. One die. Not rewarded. Get re Oh no, he's got dodge. So I don't really feel good about that. Um, <laughs> tackle is fake. So he has a way. I'm giving him a way to score because I'm up one nothing. I'm like, yeah, I guess I can. But I would have liked this guy to be back over here somewhere, perhaps, or for the troll to be on the ball. Or there's there's a number of things that I could have done instead. I don't have tackle on the ball because I piled on. So piling on was a big mistake. Big mistake. So that's one of two tackles, and the other one is this one. And they're not holding him down, so I don't, I don't like that. If the player is pushed here, it will finish in the public. And in general, so, fans are tackle. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no snow, so it's GFIable. <sighs> Hand off to that, and then there's not even a GFI involved. You know, it's a 1-9. It's a little rowdy there to, to do that, but it's fine. Okay. So it's 1-1. One, one. We've got... I've got four turns, which is plenty to score. He's... I have to play around the wizard. He's giving himself a chance to win. He's not playing for the draw. He's playing for the win here. So my goal here... My goal here is to set up to get people deep in his half as scoring threats, hold the ball back Skaven style, and try and make the wizard not work. So try and make it so he can't wizard me and steal the ball. I feel like I can win this game. You know, a, a, a draw doesn't hurt my standings, but a win, again, if I get one more win, and I've got two Chorf teams coming up, so I need a win before I play Chorfs. This is my last opportunity before playing back-to-back -back Chorf teams to cement my playoffs. So I want to win. I'm up two players. Once again, setting up to take these blocks. Maybe. Yeah, so I'm going to punch here. I'm going to punch there. And then the goblins are going to run away. I don't really like that on a blitz I get... I get bopped. On a perfect defense, I get bopped. I don't like setting up for these blocks in general. But it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He is too far back because he can't reach that row of players. Okay. The weather changed to nothing. All right. So again, I got to protect the ball. Now I take some blocks. I... Probably should have pushed into his half a little more, but I want this goblin in there. <laughs> this goblin and this goblin are my lead scoring threats. Because right now they don't they can make it in two turns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna come up here too. He's gonna do the other side. So it's kind of a pick your poison. Uh, pick up the ball because it's a one in thirty-six. Thank you, Teach. Oh bless you. So there's no screen here. He can break right through. Uh, I'd like that piece to be here at least. Okay, I get her. So that might have been the plan, is just to put my troll up here and be annoying with it. But he's stupid. Trolls are bad, okay? He's going to go... Okay, he's going to come back and try and protect him. Again, this is not a screen. This is not a screen, because the troll's dumb. But I got other rats. This is not a screen. So, this rat being here is better, or this goblin being here is better. This rat being here or here is better. Here is where I'd prefer it to screen. I'm pushing, deep, I'm pushing into his half well, but this rat should have been here. We'll see if I pay. We'll see if he comes through. He's got to take a Tackle hit on one of my goblins, because he's done that every time I've given him one. Okay, so he doesn't slide through, so that's okay. Yeah, if I were him, I would have tried to get a piece through here. 
Not a lot, just enough to put some pressure. Not tackle, but he gets the pal. The tackle piece is probably... Yep. Another injury. No big deal. Fine. Do any of them have catch? So they, He's got a catch here, so I can't pass over that piece. These two I can pass over. Don't really care. Again, I would really like this piece to have Hail Mary pass here. Because then I have that piece back. This receiver goes down also. And then I can chuck it over people. Alright. Where am I trying to put the troll? Probably just trying to put the troll on them. Or maybe on them. Um, he has a chance to blitz another hole and get upfield. One, two, three, four, five. This guy's the one who's got to blitz the hole. And then this guy goes upfield. So, see how it goes. Punch. Got a hole. He's just stealing SPP from everyone else. He does that. And then I expose him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you get downfield because you don't need animosity. Yep, you come in here. Now, these guys, again... That's annoying because guard here tags both of them. Too close together. Bring the goblin up to support the troll so he doesn't stupid. There's no tackle here, so he needs to be here. This is this is dumb positioning. He needs to be here. I don't think it matters, but he runs back, and I'm gonna count squares and make sure they can't get to me. He's gonna go up here. Alright, that's dumb. That piece should probably be here. <clears throat> That's also dumb, because now they can get super rowdy. Tackle does a thing. Not surprised. So, should have left the troll. So he gets me with the wizard. Now. If you look how far back I was, I was far enough back that he couldn't reach me. I had counted that so that these guys couldn't reach me, these girls couldn't reach me. But, they can mark the ball. So, that ends up being critical. Uh, one out of six, lightning bolt fizzles. Five out of eight, the ball scatters to where they can't get to it. Five out of six times three out of eight. So that's 15 out of 48 or so. One and three or so, the ball goes here. And it's bad for me. Bad, bad, bad. So that's his place to mark the ball and get rowdy. Who's going to screen it? <clears throat> but even if he's marking the ball, I've got extra arms, sure hands. It's still a 1 in 9 pickup if he's got the ball, and then a 1 in 36 to dodge away for a pass. So it, it's not that hard for me to get that ball, even if he marks it. But I should have been one further back prevent this whole shenaniganry that's about to happen from, from coming up. And again, I need a thrower with Hail Mary Pass, because look at this. If I Hail Mary Pass, I've got a lot of pieces down here. I can throw it here, or here, yeah, so here, and it won't bounce out. Look at that. He's on the ball. So now it's a 1 in 9. And then I gotta run out over here somewhere and chuck it. Punt play. Yeah, you don't have catch, so. Hold on. The play here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. Run to here and then throw it upfield. So that's that's the play is 1 and 9, 1 and 36. Run around here, around the outside, and then chuck it downfield. And then he can't score. So, that's the play that I'm going for here. I've got a reroll, um, the pass, and the pickup both have built-in rerolls. The dodge has a built-in reroll. So there's no point in... And I fail the pickup. So, that happens. But all of the skills that I was going to use had built-in pickups. I was going to throw it to him or him, and that was going to be that. 
So now I'm really angry at myself because I wasn't one further back. I'd counted wrong. I forgot about the wizard. After playing all game around the wizard, I forgot about it. I forgot the scatter. And now he's gonna he's gonna win. Basically, all he has to do is get this route off, and then this piece can score. This is the reroll. Pushes him there and stays. Doesn't need to stay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Not even a GFI. So I'm really angry right here because I went from having a good shot at winning with a pass play. One and nine, and now I'm down two one, turn sixteen. So But I have a troll and an edgy four goblin. So we're gonna go for the throw teammate play. I have no one to blame but myself for that. He's he hung back, he let me get super rowdy, but then I miscalculated and had to pay. His wizard his wizard definitely saved him this game. So good on you, Angra, for playing nice and bashy and holding me up. And then make him use the wizard. This is not good. These guys need to be here-ish for the throw teammate. You don't want to put them so far back. You want to make the landing hard. So they should probably be one or two further forward. Okay. Now I'm going to set up to do the one turn. And it's going to come down to where the kick lands. The kick is either going to be where I can get into the goblin or it's not. So this whole game now comes down to a kick scatter, basically. So I've got this guy back so that he can, any ball, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, any ball in sort of this range in front of him is good. High kick. Send him over there. Um, so another mistake here on the high kick. This goblin should not have been on her. Goblin should have been here. Because this goblin set up for the hit. One of these two goblins should be off. So that on a high kick, I can get a goblin to it and not have to animosity. Right? Now i got to make an animosity roll. But if it scatters out, then it goes to him. It scatters, but not out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Hand off. Animosity. Immediately re-roll it. Okay. So now I'm doing a throw troll, a throw teammate with no re-roll. Feels bad, man. But as you four. Passes, 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 passes. And I thought scatter correct. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One of those is even a two. So I hold the draw on a troll throw on an edgy four goblin. So he's really mad right now. He's like, I had to win. I went from I'm going to win, to incredibly mad at myself, back to, ah, I'll take it. So, I don't feel like I played poor enough that game to deserve to lose. I don't feel like he played to where he deserves to lose. I felt like we, neither of us really deserved to lose on that play, so I'll take the draw. Um, you know, that was, it was, a, it was a tough one, but good SPP. How are my rolls? His rolls were average. Uh, lots of push pows. Uh, he used tackle well, so hopefully he got use out of those. Little heavy down here, not terribly heavy, but a little heavy down there. Pows, so one die pow me, I one die pows you. So that's it. I guess I'll see you guys next time.